everybody, Dean DeCosta of Search Authority, and today we got a new tool called Extension Manager. This is a Chrome extension which helps you manage your extensions. We're going to go through it. So it's got a lot of users. It was recently updated, well, a few months back, and here's the general idea of what it does. Uh, it, it, it simply sits here. Um, all you got to do is, is, is have it, use it, you know, whatever you want. Let's see. There it is. So if I open it up, give it a second, and here's all my extensions, all of them. Uh, the ones that are active are obviously in color. Color the ones that aren't are grayed. Um, I go in and out. And active. You can search based right up there on them. You can you can uh, make it brighter, darker. You can do all this stuff. But here's the really cool part. If you open up the the uh, part of it where it has your options, you can actually start grouping these. And what does that mean? That means I could say let's grab all of the text sourcing tools and put them in a group and just open up and what will happen is if you want to do that is you can go ahead and create a group that's called text sourcing and when you want to activate all the text sourcing tools you push the button they all activate you're good to go if you want to um activate ones that download stuff as you can see i've got a lot of them uh you can do that too it's really 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 cool and simple and easy to use so right here using grouping you can flexibly switch to different scenes such as a home or a company to make management more convenient default under the select group click the extension icon to colonize to lock it into the group so this is where i've already kind of started colonizing into this particular group which I haven't decided what to call because I can change the name there and right now I have my 360 my age my add to any and this is going to be what I call my go-to's the things I always want active and so eventually I've only had this for a little while I'm going to go ahead and create that and then I'm going to create another group and it's going to be LinkedIn so it's going to be all the LinkedIn sourcing type stuff then I'm going to do another Facebook another Twitter and then you know and that's how I'm going to group them so this way when I'm sourcing if I want to source on Facebook I can just activate all of the Facebook orientated ones at once use them and if i want to deactivate them i can deactivate them quick simple and easy um and so this is really cool because there was another tool and i don't recall the name that used to do this but it went away and it's been tough to find one that i really liked that i thought was cool and simple and easy and i i like the visualness of the different icons rather than just the names and so that's why i really i really really like this tool like i said i haven't um i've only had it a little while so i'm still playing with it and i've got to take the time as you can see I've got a lot of extensions, so it's going to take me a while to go through and package them all the way I want and make them pretty and all like that, but I will, and you can too, and this will just make your life so much simpler. Um, so I know right now for me to do different sorts, I have to go one at a time, the ones I want. As soon as I'm done here, it'll be simple. One click. I estimate it'll probably save you 30 minutes a day, at least. And that's a lot. I don't know about you, but I can do a lot in 30 minutes. So there you go. Uh, real quick, simple, and easy. One more time. It's called Extension Manager. You, you can find it in the store. It's been updated recently, which is always good. It's got a lot of users, high rating. My name is Dean DeCosta of the Search Authority. May the source be with you.